lose it, don't lose it, don't let it confuse it. Only then you'll be gone. Feel like, feel like, feel like that. Feel like, feel like, feel like that. Till the day I depart Now we come to the difficult 
Don't know what's wrong Something is right I feel I belong in the light Passion that's gone Love's taken flight Things just feel heavy Just feel heavy tonight. You must begin now to place yourself in that group. For 30 days, you must take control of your mind. It will think only about what you've permitted to think. Each day for this 30 day test, do more than you have to do. In addition to maintaining a cheerful, positive outlook, give of yourself more than you've ever done before. Do this knowing that your return to life. I want to see.
You see, the human mind is the last great unexplored continent on the Earth. It contains riches beyond our wildest dreams. It will return anything we want to plant. Now you might say, but if that's true, why don't people use their minds more? Well, I think they've figured out an answer to that, too. Our mind comes as standard equipment at birth. It's free, and things that are given to us for nothing, we place little value on. Things that we pay money for, we value. The paradox is that exactly the reverse is true. Everything that's really worthwhile in life came to us free. Our mind, our soul, our body, our hopes, our dreams, our ambitions, our intelligence, our love of family and children and friends. All these priceless possessions are free. But the things that cost us money are actually very cheap and can be replaced at any time. A good man can be completely wiped out and make another fortune. He can do that several times. Even if our home burns down, we can rebuild it. But the things we got for nothing, we can never replace. The human mind isn't used merely because we take it for granted. Familiarity breeds content. It can do any kind of job we assign to it, but generally speaking, we use it for little jobs instead of big important ones. University
Thank you.